A man given two days to report to jail is now charged with violently attacking his in-laws while he was free. The judge who gave him those two days of freedom was Jennifer Doro. That raises a question now about her judgment as Doro is making a run for the state Supreme Court. The I team's Sean Gallagher has the story. According to court documents, Michael Liu was charged with eight counts from a July incident with his wife. A criminal complaint says he punched her in the shoulder, broke an iPad with a hammer, and charged at her and their two children. The complaint states a witness told police Liu said he was going to kill one of his kids and himself. It was the end of an eight-month period of harassment, according to the complaint. And court proceedings show Judge Jennifer Doro sentenced Liu to four months in jail and probation time. That was on November 30th. Court records show Doro granted Lou two days to report to jail, but in that time, the Will County Sheriff's Office out of Illinois says Lou showed up at his in-law's house in Crete and stabbed his mother and father-in-law. Lou was also hurt and airlifted to a Chicago hospital. All three are expected to survive. We wanted to know more about the legal process, so I talked to Janine Geske, a law professor at Marquette University. She also spent many years as a judge both in Milwaukee and on the state Supreme Court. She says it's up to the judge whether someone is taken into custody immediately. It is a judgment call. Um, you know, but apparently he'd been out on bail, nothing bad had happened, and they thought, you know, she must have thought that two more days was going to harm anything. And unfortunately, that judgment turned out to be wrong. Ordinarily, most judges will take them immediately into custody because the shock of suddenly getting prison time creates a bigger risk that they may abscond and take off and not show up. And I reached out to Judge Doro's campaign staff for comment. In a statement, Doro wished the victims a speedy recovery and pointed to her decision to sentence Lou to jail time with work release for a first offense. She also said it's unfortunate Lou did not report to jail as ordered. Steve. All right, Sean, last week uh, Judge Doro said it is, quote, wrong and dangerous. A judge can't consider public safety when setting bail. Now, this is different than bail, right. but can judges take public safety into consideration with giving a defendant a couple days before they report. Yeah, Gesky tells me after sentencing, a judge can weigh public safety in deciding whether a person can have that time to report to jail. She said it's a tough call judges make every single day, Steve. All right, Sean Gallagher, thank you for that. This is not the first time a crime was committed while a defendant was temporarily released from custody. Just back in August, Milwaukee County Judge David Borowski released Ernest Blackney. He was convicted of sexually assaulting a child. Police say Blackney then killed his ex-girlfriend and set a fire to try and cover it up while he was free before his sentence. Shortly after that, you remember Blackney died after a chase and a shootout downtown. With Milwaukee police, Judge Borowski has said since then he's had enormous regret over his decision. He's actually lost sleep over that decision as well.